what I have here today is a uh, is an MPPT charge controller that I designed and built. I have to give you some look at it here before I assemble it into the box. Um, this is the top side right here. These are the input from the solar panel. This is the output to the battery right here. Check it out. This is all my own design right here. This is the mounting case I'm going to mount it in. It's all aluminum. It's cast. Cast aluminum. Makes a pretty good heat sink. This is a, a view of my MPPT charge controller. And assembled view there. So what I have here is the MPPT charge controller that I designed and built. I'm testing it charging this lithium battery right over here. The current I'm charging this battery at right now is about 20 amps at the amp meter. As you can see right there. I'm going to look at the scope waveform. <clears throat> it's switching really fast and it's confusing the kilohertz. Actually it's about 40 kilohertz switching. You can see from the 5 microseconds per division. Okay so the battery is almost fully charged right now. And we'll check out the voltage. The voltage is at uh, 13.79. Uh, regulation for this battery is at 13.8. Now we'll look at the FET switching diagrams. Okay, on the top is the FET switching. It's, the transition time is about 125, 130 nanoseconds. The bottom is the is the plus or minus drive to the FET. Uh, it's about eight and a half, nine volts plus or minus. Turns the FET on just as fast as it turns it off. Charging is complete, 13.8. There's our resulting waveforms on the scope. Down to about 500 mils of current. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is uh, the wait to start uh, circuit for the MPPT charge controller. Basically, what it does is it waits for the PV voltage to get to a certain point, then it starts the switching control. So, we're going to look at the switching, it's on the top red line and the bottom blue line, that's the wait to start signal. So the voltage starts to rise. This is frame by frame on a storage scope. So in the next frame, we can see that the voltage on on the output on B, which is uh, inhibiting the controller from operating at this moment. So that's already risen to about maybe eight volts, seven volts. Okay, next frame. Okay, we're at ten volts on the disable which is the B line. When that line goes negative that's when the switcher will start. Next frame okay it barely lets one pulse go through but not in a normal frequency of 40 kilohertz. It basically just squeezes one off and then waits for a while and then squeezes another one off. Basically we're sitting at disable mode still voltage is building. Next frame voltage is building, holding still it's in off mode next frame voltage is building okay next frame okay now the start is now triggered on and now it will soft start on the build up next frame the voltage is building the pulse width is widening next frame next frame it's widening it's building up frame after frame now we're at full regulation right now just finished working on the the cover plate on the MPPT charge controller I uh, put in a liquid crystal uh, digital display it's got a little turbo fan a couple of LEDs so we're gonna, we're gonna assemble this together into the, the charge controller alright so I have the MPP charger now finished and connected to the battery we take a look at it right here. It shows the battery at 13.59 volts. And we're going to turn on the power now, the simulated solar panel.
and she's up and charging. That's the amps going into battery right now. So this concludes the, my experiment on this charger. If anybody wants information on this, on how to obtain one of these, I am selling these. Uh, let me know. Uh, just leave me a comment.